2014 to 4.4% in 2015. However, this was not enough to meet the EU's 3% threshold. Stavros Marvadis is Professor of Political Economy joining us from Athens. So you have uh, the uh, European, uh, the Eurozone uh, planting these uh, penalties against Spain and Portugal who have these rather large deficits not meeting uh, their target. Uh, is this going to help their economy in any shape or is it going to be working against that, being counterproductive? Well, uh, not only symptoms of internal malaise, but also are symptoms of the continuing and uh, deteriorating crisis of the European Union and its uh, Eurozone. The case of Portugal is particularly significant as it has been tooted as a case of successful implementation of an European Union austerity adjustment program. Now, the threat of sanctions and also of the imposition of the new austerity program, as it has been voiced by Wolfgang Schäuble yesterday, are proofs of the failure of the previous uh, adjustment program. Now, this is a very dire situation. Uh, the Euro South is in crisis. Uh, the European Union has imposed uh, adjustment programs on the Euro South, and they seem to fail utterly, as in the Portuguese case. Uh, there is a further complication in this. Uh, this complication has to do with the banking, the emerging banking problems in Italy and also in Germany. Uh, take note that Deutsche Bank has problems and uh, its uh, rating is uh, falling. Uh, so all these, uh, in my opinion, are signs uh, that the uh, European Union is a failed economic and political structure serving the interest of its dominant countries at the, expense, at the expense of its subservient ones. But nowadays it's becoming more, more and more in, inoperative. So the European elites are nowadays before it have a conundrum uh, in front of them. They want to discipline Portugal and Spain for being bad pupils. They want also to do the same for Italy. But in the Italian case, this is more dangerous, both politically and economically. So my guess is that they will uh, try to discipline the Italy. Thank you for that, Stavros Barbaradias, Professor of Political Economy from Athens. And finally, our top five, the leader of Britain's opposition Labour Party, 